I don't think I need an intro for this, personally. I'ma just get straight into it. My boy, not my boy actually, I don't condone this. My homie, not my homie, Umarle. <laughs> Some of y'all might know him, some of y'all might not. I never heard of this man personally. Don't offend, don't get offended, okay? Just because I know your mans doesn't mean I don't know your mans. My boy, Umale, recently had a concert. And typically your concerts go, you know, singing, dancing, y'all doing the, y'all doing your thing, you know? I don't, I don't judge that thing. You do that thing, it's all good for you. I don't care. Sometimes, one might be lucky enough to bring, you know, to get a fan brought up on stage, as one does, right? But not Umale. Umale does things a little differently. So this time, what he did is he brought this girl on stage. He brought her. And uh, he danced with her a little provocatively. Um, I can sense a little bit of tension in the air. So he was dancing with her. If that's not bad enough, the girl he was dancing with has a whole ass dude. She has a whole ass dude. Brother, you must be joking. You must be out of your cracked mind. There's no way you let your girl dance up there. I mean, it's not on her fault. It's not your fault, buddy. Don't get me tripping. It's not your fault at all. But like, you know, if you me, like, you see homie, you see girl, your girl go up there with Umala? Cause ain't no way. And the way he was, she was dancing with him too. She was cheating on him in front of everybody, bro. Now, it's one thing to cheat on your partner. It's a whole another thing to do it in front of everybody and have no remorse. Because she made a reaction to it. This is her reaction. Hi everyone. Um, I thought I was gonna do a story time. I tell my side of the story because. The amount of hate I'm getting, I'm getting f***ed, I'm getting called all types of things that I've never even heard before, like, it's getting a bit scary, and I keep coming and keep coming. But, obviously, before I get that started, I want to publicly apologise to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke, but since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologise to him, like, that was bad, but, you know, I made it, it was honestly a mistake. I just, if I knew this would, like, get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to the concert. This is not worth the hate I'm receiving. Why am I okay? First of all, first of all, who's Fafa? No, who's that person? Who ever said that my name is Fafa? Can you come? No, come please. Because how? I literally, I literally went on stage. I literally said my name is Jess. I said it twice. So I don't know how people are getting this like information from. That's not my name, please. Like no. Um, and also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets. Who? I beg. Who, who told you that as well? Who said he's the one that bought the tickets? It was me. I'm the one that bought the tickets. That just tells you a lot because us women, we can do things as well. Like, if you want to take my man out, I'll take my man out. Also, me and him, like, we've had private conversations about going on stage with Omele because he does this at his shows. If you know, if you really know Omele, you will know that he's done this in his past, at his past concerts. Like, this is what he does. This is literally what he does. Like, it's nothing new. So, obviously, I said, you know, about this conversation, like, I said to him, um, if I was to get called on stage, I'm going to go on stage. And he said, that's fine. Like, he's been saying that's fine. Like, we, me and him never, ever, ever had an issue with me going on stage even when the time came like, i think there was a video where people were saying like i was moving away from him like i was pushing him away like no like omelay literally looked at me and said you please help me to you i just got really excited because omelay is like one of my favorite artists i don't care what anybody says like you all have favorite artists i didn't want to hear that like so he's mine so obviously he's my favorite artist not mine um so obviously i got really excited i was just genuinely happy and obviously when i moved to the side um that was when he asked me to go on stage i was just waiting for um Obviously, the security to get me out of the crowd. That's why I was even stood there. Which is crazy. No remorse. No sympathy. And homie's not ugly, okay? It'd be one thing if homie was ugly, right? Not Umala. Her, her boyfriend, her man's, if her soulmate, her significant other, her partner to be, her baby dad, <laughs> her Prince Charming, her Michelangelo, her Vanessa Violet. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. It'd be one thing if homie was ugly. Like, if it was me, I'd be like, oh shit, man. I assume Umala, I can understand. But it was this guy. I think he's not ugly. Okay, personally, I know when an ugly guy is ugly, and he's not even close. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. This is wild. Anyways, cutting to the chase. They are now broken up. Rightfully so. He has no remorse. Crazy. Crazy. Cruel world we live in. Ladies, he's single. I mean, I mean, he made a video with Kaisenets about 20 girls one guy. I didn't watch it yet. I'm not gonna go watch it. Who do you think I am supporting the bigger person here? I don't support big creators. I only support small creators like me. Who is under 100 i'm at 99 subscribers right now please subscribe if you're my 100th 
I'll kiss you in the face. Hold me to that. So when I do a meet and greet, he's like, I was a hundred subscriber. I'm going to kiss you straight in your mouth, boy. Straight in your own fat, juicy lips. Anyways, that's all for me tonight.